welcome everyone to Fort Snelling National Cemetery. We're honored today to have our brothers from the United States Army here to provide honors for a fallen comrade. You, there will be three rifle volleys. They're rather loud, so you might want to protect your ears. That will be followed by tap and then the presentation of the flag. Thank you all for being here this morning. We really appreciate it.
see. Calvin Evans was born on August 18th, 1947, in Atlanta, Georgia, to Carolyn and Tommy Lee Evans. His family relocated to Chicago, Illinois, and he spent the majority of his adolescent years in Illinois. There he often spent time with his Aunt May, Marilyn Campbell, and grew up alongside her children. He graduated from Hirsch High School and after graduation enlisted in the United States Army. He served during the Vietnam War and was stationed in Germany and Korea during his years of service. He was proud of his years of service and his time served was the highlight of his life. Years later, he relocated to Minnesota where he spent the majority of his time and his latter years. In Minnesota, he worked at Northern Tool Equipment. Calvin loved to watch documentaries, read about historic events. He also enjoyed rooting for the Chicago Bears and Bulls. He cherished the, relationship, the relationships he had and valued the precious moments he spent with friends and family. He enjoyed laughing, dancing, singing, and reminiscing on memories from the past. Calvin loved the Lord. He was baptized at Crossroad Church in Apple Valley, Minnesota in 2016. As Calvin did not have children of his own, his cousins, nieces, and nephews helped, held a special place in his heart. He will be missed and remembered by those who love him. Amen. In John 11, 25, the Lord Jesus said this. He said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whosoever lives and believes in me will never, lie, will never die. And Paul the Apostle wrote to the Corinthians in chapter 15, chapter 15 verse 51 through 55, first Corinthians, he writes this. He says, Behold, I show to you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. The, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that's written, Death has been swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? I want to just share with us the assurance of the believer. We know that Calvin is not here. We know that he is in the presence of the Lord today because Calvin loved the Lord. The body that lies before us, it was just his, his earthly tabernacle. It was the house that he lived in amongst us. And today we will tenderly and reverently uh, commit this house to the grave. The body returns to the dirt or the earth from which the body came, but the spirit, the spirit now, his spirit returns back to God. And his spirit awaits the resurrection of his body when Jesus Christ returns. Here's another note of comfort from the Apostle Paul, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18. Paul says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive shall, and remain shall be caught up together to be with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. And then the apostle says, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. I just want to briefly say that Calvin has made an impression on all of us. I can always remember his smiles, his jokes, 
uh, just his joviality in life and his desire for life. Um, and he has he has really been a model of what it means to to just live life, even though the last the latter part of his life he was dealing with many challenges. I I, I was told that the day that he went home to be with the Lord, he was asking for some um, famous days. And uh, it was looking forward, he was looking forward, but the Lord took him home. And so today, um, we're just uh, so uh, honored to be here to, uh, to reference his life. Heavenly Father, we thank you this day for Jesus Christ, for his precious gift of eternal life, and for the comfort of the Holy Spirit today. During our natural sorrow, we thank you for mercy and for grace. In facing death, we thank you for the promise of everlasting life. And in the face of separation from our loved ones, we thank you for the assurance of the resurrection. We thank you for Calvin's life here on earth with us and for the many, many memories that we will continue to have of him. We acknowledge that Calvin is, now he's rejoicing with you. He's in your presence. Amen. So, Father, we commit the body of Calvin Evans to this earth. And we thank you that his spirit is now with you. We look forward to the day when all of us will gather together and be reunited. We thank you that we who believe and have received Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, that we have this hope and we have this confidence. And we thank you for making your presence and your promise available to us today. Father, comfort our family, comfort his friends, and Lord God, we bless you in the name that's above every name, in Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen. 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 Thank you very much to all of you for coming on today. Uh, this concludes our great side service. If you'd like to come up and place a hand on the casket, say hello, goodbye, or sure welcome to. Otherwise, we need to make our way back to our cars and all take a quick one. Okay. Thank okay. you. For those of you that think that gospel music has gone too far, you think we've gotten too radical with our message. Well, I got news for you. You ain't heard nothing yet. And if you don't know, now you know. Glory, glory! Woo! <laughs> you better put them hands together and act like you know up in here. Chief Pete! Baby, I've been going through something that's really got me down. Put your hands together. Church up in here. Come on, chat. I can't explain it. Uh -huh. I can't obtain it. Uh -huh. Jesus, your love is so, it's so amazing. It gets me high up to the sky. Hallelujah. And when I think about your goodness, it makes me wanna so <laughs> You can't take my joy, devil. Makes me cut.
side, but another level. Come on, up, so I can't yeah. help that. When I think about the goodness and the fullness of God, make me thankful, pity the hateful, I'm grateful. The Lord brought me through this far. Oh, yeah. Trying to be cute when I praise him, raise him high. I keep it live, be bumping, keep him jumping, make the Lord feel something. Ain't no shame in my game, God's property. Getting big with curse, ain't no stopping me.
Okay. 